Hello and welcome today, we're taking a look at Galaxy Squad. This is a turn-based tactical strategy game, kind of like an FTL mixed with an XCOM kind of an idea, being developed by solo dev Oleg Kazakov down here. It's still very early access on Steam, been there about a month now, but I thought we'd take a look at the thing and see what it's all about. The art style, the graphics is a little bit... Uh, takes some getting used to, at least for me it did anyways. Um, but uh, has, I guess suppose it has a certain charm, I suppose is a way of putting it. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. We uh, I'll give a bit of the story here. We are a band of space mercenaries, basically. We have a squad, uh, we have a team. We can equip them and manage them in, in, in various ways. We have a ship we can we can manage in certain ways as well. We're going to be bouncing around from point to point, kind of FTL style, uh, doing various missions at those points that will play out kind of XCOM style. And um, then we'll try to deliver this, this cargo that we have intercepted and delivered to somebody as well. That's kind of the story, anyway. Let's start it up and see what's going on here. We have story campaign. We have free mode as well. Survival is not in the game just yet. We'll start with um, story mode, though, and see what we can do here. So we got four different classes that we can choose. The whole game has this sort of um, pol poly polygonal? Polygonal? Not, not pol polygonal? Is that the word? Uh, art style, uh, which you can see here. Uh, so we have different... Choices, though. We have a melee fighter, we have an engineer, we have a shooter, and we have support. Uh, support's like a medic. So I think what we're going to do is we want to go with... I believe we're going to go with a melee guy, because we have to. And there's one in here I especially want. Where is he? Where is he? we got to find him. That guy's pretty close. Where is he? It's very important. I mean, he's pretty good. we got to... Mm. That guy. We want that guy. Because Urist is going to be our melee dwarf front lines. He's going to begin with a knife, a shield, and a stimulator. That's what he's going to... Stimulant, I suppose, what's what it's supposed to be. Uh, next, behind him, we're going to have, I think, a shooter. Shooter named uh, Jimmy. Now, Jimmy's going to start with a gun and a grenade. Uh, Jimmy looks like... I like the blue hair for Jimmy and the and the, uh, the, the, the forge uh, thing. Yeah, it works. Now, other we can either do support or engineer. Engineer begins with this, like, mobile cover and traps, and an SMG. I'm going to go with the medic, however, because I think that's going to be probably more important. Medic, medic, what's your medic name? Um, oh, I don't know. Um, oh, well, how about Bob? Yeah, Bob should be here. So, Bob, well, let's see if we can find ourselves a, a, a Bob. Yeah, that, that's, that'll do, that'll do. Can I get one without the without the face? Without the eye? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, um, yeah, I gotta go with that guy. <laughs> okay, Bob Ross, in his later years. Next. Okay, so, we have different starting options here for our ship. Well, I guess our ship and our crew. We can begin with starting money, extra equipment, an energy shield around our ship, or some sort of weapon modification station on board our ship that allows us to tweak things. Um, I'm going to go with the bonus money. I think I did the weapon modification on my test game, and I didn't really get to use it early on in the game. Uh, we also have a hardcore mode. Increases enemies, power, and out-mount. Uh, increases unlock chance. Uh, two start we also get two starting bonuses. I'm going to go with hardcore mode just to see what this game can throw at us. Uh, and I'm going to begin with bonus money and bonus equipment, because I want to see what we can use here. We can buy a shield later. Okay, let's start this thing up. Now, this is kind of a long and interesting opening scene here. We're going to skip this, though, because I want to play the game. But uh, the, the, basically what's going on here, they're transporting some sort of cargo here. And we are a band of mercenaries, right? That's us right there. We're the ones hiding in the shadows. There's Bob and, and Jimmy there. We're going to blast this thing and take it. Most of us are going to die. Only three of us are going to survive. There we go, and, uh, and that all breaks up. Okay, let's let's play the game. Now we get the cargo, we run away, and our goal is to get from we have a we have a terrible force chasing us from uh, from back this way. Our goal is to get all the way down the line here and deliver this cargo that we have. We don't even know what the cargo is, but we have it in our cargo hold. Um, the yellow line here is a kind of our story missions. We want to go from point to point to get story missions done. The, all this stuff out here is just for a side quest. We can come visit the stations and maybe get some new uh, jobs and, and refuel, that kind of a thing. Now let's take a look at our squad here. We've seen our people before. we got Urist here with a knife, shield. He has no armor. He's very chested, tattooed, chested, but he's got nothing in his side arm either, and he has a stimulant in his pocket. Um, now we can give him points. We get one point to spend on the guy. Once we hit level three, we get more things we can get. Uh, I'm going to give him, however, I think extra health is probably... Well, speed might be important. Improves, increases speed by w on one point. I'm going to give him health. That seems like it might be important. Uh, and I would like to give you the armor. There you go, buddy. Cover those. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I also have a first aid and a flashbang and a smoke grenade, eh? I can carry something else. Um, yeah, get a first aid just in case, you know, you need to shoot yourself in the light or something. Um... So Jimmy here is going to be my my shooter. I'm going to go ahead and give him the flashbang. 
And uh, we're going to get him the accuracy trait. And then next up, we've got Bob here. Bob is going to take a, take a smoke. Oh, he's got he's full. He can't carry anything else. So we'll leave the smoke grenade behind. We don't do smoke grenades. Bob's going to um, uh, improve health. No, I think maybe improve speed for Bob. We can give him the second equipment spot so he can carry that smoke grenade. We'll give him the, sm uh, the speed, I think. Because he needs to make sure we can beat the devil out of something or some sort of some sort of anecdote uh, okay so we have our ship health at 100 we have 100 cash we got 40 uh, energy and we have 30 fuel our ship is right here we can see we have no ship systems at the moment we'll find that stuff in time uh, let's go bounce up to uh, let's go to this uh, orange star here all right, so this is the FTL part of the game. You arrive to witness a horrifying sight. A giant swarm is in the process of attacking and infesting a police cruiser. This is not a good place to be right now. We can wait for the end of the fight, and I don't know what that means, or we can just leave. Not a good place to be? Well, let's sit back and, and watch. It seems like the swarm destroyed police ship and left. We got a free SMG. We got credits. We got fuel. We got a stimulator. Well, okay, okay. Next time we see a giant scary thing, we stand around and watch. Now, I suppose we could give you... I'm going to give, actually, the SMG to you. You can keep a pistol in your pocket, too, but I want this SMG in your hand. There you go, so you can start shooting things better. We also have that stimulator, which we can't use. Yeah, it's fine. We'll leave the defibrillator, defibrillator on uh, the medic, because that may come in handy. Uh, let's see. We're going to go bouncing around. Let's go. There's a store back here, right? Way back this way. Let's go over here. I want to see this store. You were flying near a space station when your ship was spotted by a police patrol. They fired a couple of shots on your ship and forced you to land on the station. Your ship was damaged for nine points. Absorb zero. Start a fight. Okay, we've landed on a station. We're fighting the police now. Because we've stolen something. They want our thing, right? Uh, kill everyone. Kill everyone on the map. That's our job. Everyone's here. Let's start this thing up. Eventually, you can find new, uh, new recruits and bring them in. I don't know if you can actually have four people fighting at the same time. I'm not sure. I haven't got to that point yet. Okay, so we don't know where anyone is just yet. Um... So we're going to just move on up here in very XCOM style. We get two moves. We get a, the short move for one action and the long move for the second action. So we're just going to cru cruise on up here. We've got Urist here, melee guy. Mm -hmm. Cruise up this way. There is a voice acting in the as well. Uh, voice voice, uh, voice quips is in the game anyways. Jimmy, move on up. And then Bob, I want you to come over this way. So I, I actually I'm looked at this game gone. when it first came out. November 3rd, I think, was the release date. But November 2nd, something like that. And it was pretty rough. Um, it's really come a long way. Even in, in this month, it has come a long way. Let's move up to this, the point. You see anything yet? No, nothing yet. Even the art style has changed a bit. At least I think it has. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we got three enemies on this map we have to go kill. So let's run over here. Should be easy. You gotta find them first. Sure thing. Mm, Bob's got a voice. I don't see anybody over there. Anybody over this way? Nobody? They could be back over here, I guess. Let's go uh, up here. Enemy turn. I don't see anybody. Where are they? There's only three of them, so it shouldn't be too difficult. They must be over here. Jimmy, go do some spotting. Yes. Yeah, they're not over here. Okay. Uh, let's whip this thing around and go ahead over this way. So we can do various things. We can shoot. Of course, we can. We can. Uh, we have med kit. This guy has a med kit and defib. Uh, we've got defense. Uh, action if we wish. Um, we can also overwatch. Sure and reload. You have that, uh, what is that? Uh, first aid. Just come on up. There's no defense. We don't need defense. Just get up here. Alright, Jimmy, I'm gonna get you right up to here. Should be able to see somebody now. No? Where are they at? Moving. Right, where, where is everybody? They're hiding. Yeah, just walk through those bushes. Yeah, who put those bushes there anyways? Alright, I'm going to whip you around here. And I think we can actually go up on the roof at some points. Can I do that up here? No. Ready. Alright, I'm starting to think there's no one here. Moving. Starting to think there's no one here. Not this area. All right. Um, Moving. They, they got to be here. At your service. Moving. There oh, they are. Okay, we can see them just hanging out right over there. Uh, you can't get enough to shoot them yet, um, but you can Overwatch for sure. You 
want something. Uh, Jimmy, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna Overwatch also? And then Urus is gonna run over here. We may not be able to unlock them just yet. Yeah, they haven't moved yet. Uh, so next turn, let's run up here and, and, and wake them up. Okay, there we go. We got him now. Okay, um, you don't have a grenade, and you are a medic, so you probably shouldn't go charging in there. Um, just Overwatch, I think, is a good idea. And, oh, Urus does have a shot on them. You have a knife and shield, though. You can't do anything, really, with them. Uh, let's go ahead and just get you... I don't want you taking all that kind of damage. Let's... That's not really very good, but let's just, just go right there. It's fine. You'll be fine. Okay, you awake now? All right, Jimmy. Can you throw that grenade? How far can you throw that grenade? Hey, you can throw it right there. Okay, well, there we go. You destroyed the two medics, or the two mechs. And we have, what are you? You are a policeman melee. Strong melee enemy. Can use energy shield. He has 60 hit points down to 32 now because we threw a grenade at his face. Uh, Bob, uh, why don't you just run out here and just shoot him? See if the SMG is for you. We've got 70% 70, 70 chance of shooting him. Blast him. Okay, he's absorbing a lot of ammo. A lot of, oh, that was it? No, no, not it. Why does he just stand there? Is he dumb? What's wrong with him? There's a uh, free healing capsule over there if we pick it up, but no, we're just going to... Oh, you're the melee guy. Just come over here. You want something? If we use these grenades and things, it uses them. We have to buy more if we want more. None shall survive. So we shouldn't do that. We should what just, we should just shoot him. I don't know why he's just standing there. Uh, <laughs> okay, whatever. I will take it. Are you going to move? No, you're just going to stand there? Okay. Arist, do your worst. Oh, that was something, Arist. Okay, there we go. And we almost have him down. Okay. And... Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, we found nothing. Excellent. All right, that mission is done. Let's move on to the store here and see what we can find on this way. We got 104 bucks that we found along the way. I don't know where the four came from. Uh, but let's see what we can pick up here. All right, so we got various things. We got a couple people standing outside. We got a ship service. We got a bar. We've got a weapon shop. And uh, a couple people have jobs. We got three people with jobs. And I think I can buy you. Is that what that is? Yes, a Merc. Uh, Joseph Wilson. For 30 bucks, you're super cheap. I had one before he was he was uh, 70. Yeah, I'll hire you. Come on, buddy. All right, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, to the ship. Now we got all kinds of different quests here. This guy, the monk. Uh, Green Travelers, do you want to achieve true strength in battles? Yes. Temple of Akshara needs new disciples. Travel to HU90 and visit fight trainer Belmont II. He will teach you ancient secrets of battle and invite you into our cult. After that, return to me and I will give you... New crew members payment of 10 credits. Oh, if I give you 10 credits, you give you... Okay, okay. Translation's a little off here. Uh, what are you doing here? My name is Father Ezekiel. And I talk to travelers and tell them about our religion. Okay. Sounds good to me. First religion I've ever heard of, so it uh, works for me. To the weapon shop. All right. Hooded man, we can buy things from you. We got 74 bucks. We can go pick up, like, new armor. We can pick up new grenades, which we have none. Um, I don't want any of this junk. I can sell you stuff also. I can sell you this smoke grenade if I want for three bucks. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, let's just leave. Now, what do you have here? Um, Are you in good shape? You look rough. Actually, I have some problems with my machinery down. Uh-huh. I had some rough work done a couple of days ago, if you know what I mean. Uh, go to these coordinates and find me some parts for me. I can give you 30 credits for that. Sure, sure. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, pleasure bot. Yes. All right. Okay. I will, I will, sure. Uh, you over there. Who are you? Hey, any work? I do, actually. A couple days ago, a tourist ship from our company has crashed on planet TR-78. I need you to go there and check for any survivors. I will give you 30 credits for that. I certainly will. That's more sensible. I can get behind that. All right, Bar. Um, who are you? Another mercenary? This is a happening place. John Taylor for 70 bucks. He's expensive. I'm not going to hire him, though, because I don't need five people. Uh, what are you? What, you, you want some money? I sure do. I need an energy core for my ship. There is a power station nearby. Go there and extract power core. I'll give you 30 credits. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Yeah, sure it does. You want a power core, it does. All kinds of quests here. Uh, we didn't go, we can go to the ship service place. Let's see what we can find here. So we can buy a new ship system. We can buy some fuel. Sure, we'll go up to 30 there. We have 30, 71 bucks. We can buy a banking system. Activates, generates money every turn. Our biogenetic station allows it to assign different bio buffs before battles. I don't know what this stuff is. Upgrades gives us new hull. Uh, we can repair ourselves. I'm going to buy this banking station. 
Yeah, why not? We're gonna be broke, but I'll put a bank on my ship and make cash. Why not? Okay, back to the ship. Let's see what we can do here. We've got quests all over now. We got everywhere. So training over there. We got search and rescue. We've got junk parts and energy core this way. Let's go visit this one. Maybe we stop by and pick up the training. It seems useful. Um, yeah, and before we hit the story missions, let's go over here. Oh, my squad. I forgot to look at that. Kind of a small ship. It messages you, offering different weapons and armor for sale. I will buy an armor. You got armor. Minus eight credits. I didn't have eight credits, so I'm negative seven now. <laughs> okay. You, you did work on credit? Uh, <laughs> so I got to give um, I got a new melee guy here, which is going to be Joseph Wilson's going to get the new armor, I guess. Armor eight. Is that Urus gets better armor? What's this one? Armor three. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Urus, you get the good stuff. And then uh, new guy can have the... Did I give it to new guy Joseph Wilson? What kind of name is that? What kind of name is that? Oh, I can change you here. Uh, how about um, uh, how about how about me? I can be in here. Yeah, that looks like me. Okay. Uh, can I change your glasses actually? Negative one. Yes, I like that better. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, I can give you something. I can give you this stimulant. Uh, I guess you already have a level, right? You're level one, so I can put your level wherever I want. I'm gonna make you. Health. I think it's important for a uh, melee guy. Okay, and anyone else want to carry anything? No, I think we're good. Okay. Um, let's go visit the training. Are you going to charge me for this? Visit H90 uh, and came to the huge temple in the center of the city. You asked young disciple for a battle trainer. He seems like you can start training right away after joining their religion. Sure, why not? You've completed the training. You receive 80 experience for your squad. Receive 199 experience for your squad. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Did you gain experience? You did. You get an extra point, Urist. You trained. Uh, we'll take um, take a little extra speed. Why not? Who else got? You got training too, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, shoot better. Point left here for Bob. Uh, Bob, what do you do? Uh, Bob, I'm going to give you shooting also. Seems important. And a uh, new me. I will take training in... I don't want to die. If anyone dies, as long as I stay alive, it's all that really matters. Okay. Now we can go over here to the search and rescue or go to the story mission. Let's just go... If I go here... I want to go to the story mission. Hmm. I don't want to have to go back. I don't want to get anyone's junk parts either. Let's just go to the story mission. Let's see what, what the game... What the story's all about. Alright. Job well done. Yes. We're level 2. This recommends level 1. Let's do it. This kind of gives an idea what this whole story is about. There we are, Urist. Um, main in the uh, con. Hey guys, it's Korean. What is. Uh, how's it going? Did you get the package? Yeah, we lost. We got the package. We lost most of the team on the mission. Only three survived. Now we got a whole Federation fleet on our tails. What exactly would we manage to steal? You don't need to worry about that. Or about a pursuit. You got the fastest ship in the galaxy. They'll never catch you. After you arrive with me, I missed that. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> You'll get cash, basically, what he says. Okay, we'll be there. That's our package. You know, just leave it on the crate in the, in the cargo hold. Sure. I mean, why would you lock it away? Okay. All right, there we go. There is story mission number one. Now, this one's complete. We can make this one go away. Um, I'm going to forget about all these things. We're just going to move on up here. So next story mission is up this way. So let's go visit this one right here. Sensors detect huge psionic disturbance nearby. It comes from Psy Research Station in this sector. Scientists might there might be in trouble. Start a fight! Yeah, we are here to save people as well as kill people. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay, save people is our job. Save all people on the map. Everyone is here. Excellent. I don't have any buffs yet. I would like to have some. So we got three people remaining. Three turns reinforcements will arrive. So I'm going to be quick here and charge in. Guns blazing. Or Urus blazing. This person right there. Yeah, I do. Come over here. I don't see any bad guys. Yeah, there's bad guys right over there. Okay. Uh, come on up here. If I save... Once I save these people, turn it game over. Uh, we don't need to worry about killing everything. Come on up right here. Okay, he apparently has not aggroed. What are these things? Explosive Psy Anomaly. Melee enemy explodes. That seems kind of scary. 
We got a guy standing right there. There's supposed to be three of them here. Uh, yeah. Bob, can you handle this guy? Let's go over here and, and capture him. Uh, I'm gonna stand. Well, yeah, go up to him. I'm going. Here. <laughs> Bob, okay, you don't have to scare. You don't have to yell at me. Okay, I want you to go here, and you're melee. So you're not gonna do me any good. You can throw like a smoke. No, it's first aid. No, don't do anything. Just, just, just defend. Okay, Jimmy. Um, you can go here and throw a grenade, maybe. Throw a grenade from where you're at. No, we'll do it here. I wonder if the smoke would do. Uh, just throw a grenade. Can I hit both of them? I can't. Hmm. Okay, just shoot one then. Just shoot it. It has a lot of hit points. And apparently it explodes. It's gonna hurt. Uh, run over here. You gonna blow up and kill him? Jimmy! 50 damage! Jimmy! Man, that hurts! Okay, um... Urist, stay away from those guys. Let's come on up here. We'll pick up the... You don't need health. You need to go rescue this guy. Um, come up to here. What is that? That's my receiver. That's fiber. That gives me health, though. So, Jimmy, why don't you just run over here? Seems like a safe place to be. Uh, you can drop a grenade. No, just go get the health. It shall be done. Yes. There you go. So it makes you all better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made, made you better. Uh, come over here and shoot this one here. Reinforcements are arriving very soon. We didn't make this in time. Yeah, fire away. We yeah, we still got enough. Does it blow up even if I melee it? Where's the last guy? Over here. Okay. Just uh, run and save him. What is it? You hang in there, Jimmy. He's uh, he's not dead yet. Jimmy, why don't you just run back? Can you save that guy? Go save him. I was made for this. So is it done now? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did. Oh, we found a grenade in the process. Okay, excellent. You found your ship was fixed. Radar sh system added. Oh. Okay. Radar system. Okay. Uh, more experience for uh, Urist. We get new things now. Steady position. Every turn you are not moving, you get 5 accuracy. Not good for him. Charge while attacking in melee, you get additional 5 critical bonus chance. Every meter you run before the attack. That's what we want. Yes, Urist is a bit of a rampager. Okay, and um, Jimmy, I'm going to give you the steady. I think seems uh, sure. And then we've got Bob. Armor piercing bullets. Every bullet has a 50% chance to destroy one armor of the target. That seems good. Let's take that. And Nook with a strange goatee. Uh, I would like you to have... What's this one? Armor... Um, equipment use does not end turn, but uses one action point instead. Interesting. Interesting. I want you to just go ahead and just shoot things, Nook. Uh, and we picked up a grenade also, right? Who wants a grenade? I know we were all full. I'm going to lose the stimulant and take a grenade. Okay, so we get a store over here before we hit the next stop. Let's go do that. We only got 93 bucks, but... Oh, what's that radar thing do? Oh, wait. I, I forgot about the banking system. Yep. Put it on. We don't have any power. How do we get power? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's stop over here. Is it using my... Oh, it's using my power up. I understand. Okay. Do we have any cash? I don't, how much, I don't know how much cash we have. So this is a mercenary if he wants to join us. That looks just like Urus. No, I don't want you, John Miller. I'm sorry. I uh, can go to the bar weapon shop. We got another person wanting to just do a quest over here. What's that going on here? Uh, any work? Yes. I have a friend of the colony, 77. He needs these blueprints right now. So he can deliver them very fast. I'll give you 25 bucks. Sure. I don't care who you are. I'll do your job. Uh, we have a ship service over here. Let's see what we can do it here. So I can buy fuel. I can can buy a weapon mod station allows you to upgrade weapons and armor, which we saw before. Training station allows us to give experience every turn. I have a hundred bucks. I think we maybe need to upgrade our ship. Let's buy a bit of fuel. Upgrade the old ship to 150 hull status. Okay. And where's the weapons merchant? Is there one? I don't see one. There's, oh, there it is. There's a bar here. What's is anybody in here? Oh, yeah, you. Ah, wrong button. Back to the bar. You. What do you want? A swarm is spreading out in the sector with terrifying speed. Just recently, a passenger cruiser was attacked and all passengers were infected. We need to help possible. Help all possible. Uh, get to this coordinates and destroy infected ship there. I'll give you 60 credit for this. 
Um, okay, I'm not going to do it, but okay. I have no way of saying no. Okay, um, do I want to sell anything? I can sell you this for 15 or 3. I can buy uh, another armor set. How much is this? 33. I will buy that. I think it's useful to have more armor. And I think I'll buy this one also. Ooh, an assault rifle. Do I have money for that? I guess, I, wait. It didn't, did not, did not, oh, do I have money for any of them? Oh, wait, wait, 39 bucks. Okay. I can buy... Did I hit the wrong button? What happened? Uh, I will buy... I want that. Can I... S I will sell you this smoke grenade. I'm never going to use it. And I will buy this assault rifle. Give me once a new gun. Alright, so to the ship. Jimmy, I got a present for you. Uh, wrong button again. Jimmy. Where is he? There he is. Jimmy. Lose the bandit rifle. 28 damage, 4 bullets. This is 60 damage, 5 bullets. There you go. You can have this one in your... Yeah, there you go. Packing that one in your, your offhand. That's more like it. Okay. Now, what are we at? We're at 26 minutes, so we probably need to call it a day here. Let's see what this mission's all about. Mysterious Storm. We are recommended to. We are level 3. Uh, you know what? Let's... Um, yeah, let's call it a day here. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this. I may do another video. I want to see where this goes. Uh, the animation's strange. Uh, it takes some getting used to, but I like the way the gameplay works, uh, even though it's still simple and, you know, early access and all that. But anyway, let me know what you think if you want to see more of this, and I will see you next time.